89 on up G stuff, not ye stuff. And we back part two with the Bonnie Hunter, Athens Park Blood, uh, Los Angeles County Jail Blood Module story. Get down. Go ahead, big homie. You back on the line. Uh, yeah, so the homie Stretch, when he come down there, you know, he say what he say. And he left it at the end as, uh, you know, motherfuckers don't pay him this money. You know, he gonna handle his business. And he was like, you know, motherfuckers already know Stretch Dog ain't playing. Fresh Dog gonna start violating niggas. So back then, the word violate niggas meant a nigga gonna fuck you. You get what I'm saying? So... When he said that part, everybody got riled up like, hold on, who the fuck you talking to? You know what I mean? Right, right. <clears throat> so Green Eyes, so, so Big Green Eyes from Hunter, he step in and he tells Stretch, like, look, little homie, go on down there to the cell. You know what I mean? And Stretch walk off. So when he walk off, niggas like, hold on, man, that nigga can't be talking to us like that. Blood, blood, that shit fucked up. So, so not to Green cut eyes, you, hold on, big homie, not to cut you off. So even though the homies didn't pay the tab, the homie still didn't like the way the homie came down there expressing himself. Right, right. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. I'm going to be a man and say it, you know. I wish then that a motherfucker had the mind he had now. Because if I had the mind we had now, we could have been man enough to, like, look, dog, we don't have to go that far. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Nigga going to take care of that homie at the same time. You were on for threatening the motherfucker. Right. And it would have been over with right then and there. Right. But instead of that, instead of that happening, we was all young and egos got in the way. You know, when you young, any little challenge, nigga knock a stick off your shoulder or nigga throw a ball at you and hit you in the head, anything you fear, you got to retaliate. So the homies and felt like fire with fire. Right. And that's what caused the beef. And after Green Eyes went home, the other homie still wanted to pay his tab. But what got in the way was he was worried about what niggas think. He felt that if he paid a tab now, after Stretch had threatened to do something to him, he felt that motherfuckers were gonna look at him as a weakness. You know what I mean? And he didn't want to be looked at in that way. So he rolled with the flow. So Stretch came down there again after Green Eyes went home and reiterated the conversation. But this time, he didn't say it in a mean way. He said it in a nicer way. He just was like, blood, give me my money. You know what I mean? He like, give me my motherfucking money. My baby mama needs shit. She got shit to do. I got kids I got to take care of. Give him my money, blood. He's like, if I don't get my money, it's going to be a problem. Now, keep in mind, it's at least 17 body hunters in there at the time. Right, right. And all, all we had was, was like, right, and all we had was like six homies. So we had a meeting amongst ourselves, you know. And when we had that meeting, everybody agreed that the homie need a fade. You know what I mean? From the now, Athens part. The homie that Not to cut to. you off, big homie, but right. when you say the people, right. some, the homie needed a fade, that was the homie from, from our side, from the Athens. Right. All the homies. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Decided that Stretch got to get a fade. You know what I mean? Right. Like, at the, end of the, at the end of the day, you put rape involved. You know, if you would have just said you're going to beat a nigga up, Motherfucker accept that. But once you said you gonna rape a motherfucker, that took it to a whole other level. So we made the decision that we was gonna get a fade. And we already had a homie that was supposed to take that fade. You know, he was supposed to catch stretch on the tear whenever we get a visit or something. And them two was gonna get down. Right. They was right. gonna be over. With. They was gonna get down. They was gonna get down for the disrespect. And after that stretch, was still going to get his money. You get what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Now, flip the page, it didn't happen that way. You know, the day of the visit, when we got our visits, it just so happened stretch got a visit the same day. Mm. 
M and uh M B J and uh Gator. They got a visit the same day. When they got the visits, we get out there. They didn't get a visit. They didn't get a visit. They visitor didn't show up for some reason or whatnot. Whatever happened, whatever happened, but they didn't get a visit. Right, all right. of us had got a had got a visit, except for the homie that was supposed to take the fade. The homie that was supposed to take the fade. I'm not putting no jacket on him. I'm not saying nothing bad about him. Yeah. But for some reason, his his visitor didn't show up. Right. So when his vis- so when his visitor didn't show up, shit went south from there. You know what I mean? What's supposed to have been a simple fate turned into an attempted murder. Hmm. You know, and the reason and the reason it turned into an attempted murder was because the homie tried to get me out the handcuffs first, and based on me and Stretch was dogs. I knew I could have told Stretch, like, look, blood, whoop, 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 whoop. And we would have got out and it would have been over with. He wouldn't have went and got no knife or nothing. I knew, I, I'm almost sure it is because of our friendship. But I couldn't get out my handcuffs. And the other homie couldn't get out of his handcuffs. So that led to two other homies getting involved. And when them two other homies got involved, Stretch tried to get past him. He got a handcuff first. When he got in handcuffed, Stretch not no dummy. He been through this shit before. He saw what was coming. And he tried to get past the homies to go get him a knife and be prepared for whatever. The homies took action. You know what I mean? They right. saw he trying to get to it and took action. Right. Now, the first homie that got over Stretch, Stretch fuck over him. I'm just keeping it clean. Right, Stretch right, slammed right. He get on top of him. He fucking over it. Right. The other homie stand. The other homie stand over Stretch and stab him up. Fuck over Stretch. What saved Stretch was Stretch was like, "Come on, man, goddamn." He was like, "You know, okay, I accept being stabbed, but damn, now you're trying to kill it, nigga. I'm a homie too." And when he said that, niggas backed up off of like, you know, everything calmed down. It came back to like, damn, that is Stretch. You yeah, know, yeah, that yeah, is yeah. the homie. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because y'all did have but love for. Y'all had love prior to right, all this. Right, right, right. And motherfuckers love to stretch, homie. You know, it ain't, it ain't nothing personal. Everybody love to stretch. We all did. But niggas, you know, when niggas get in their feelings and their egos, niggas do what they got to do to keep their name popping. Keep their name alive and keep their status going instead of years later, motherfuckers saying, oh, that nigga went out like a bitch. You know what I mean? Right. So... When it was over, when it was over, it said and done. That night, the bounty hunters took all their mattresses and boarded up their cell. Now, when they did this, I sat in the cell and thought about it because it was two cells of bounty hunters. When they boarded up their cell, a lot of people took it as, "Oh, them niggas on some scary shit." Other homies that didn't have nothing to do with the war start chiming in, calling them niggas bosses and bitches and this and that. But in my heart, based on who was in that cell, I knew that that was a war strategy. It real. wasn't no buster move. On the real. Those on the outside that don't know war, you looking at it as a buster strategy. But what the niggas did was, them niggas boarded up their cell. That way they could get some sleep. Safety. Them niggas was in Safety. there while we was out. Yeah, while niggas was out there laughing at them, them niggas was in there getting ready. And Secretively. Me and my homies all. Yeah, me and my homies, we already knew that. We sat up and said it. We was like, nigga, that nigga hook in that cell. You know what I mean? For those that don't know hook, that's a real OG homie. You know, that nigga raised me. You know, and I knew what he was about. And, and not to cut and you off, what hook, what hook from Big Homie? Hook is from Barney Hunter. Okay. He's a real, he's a real Nickerson Gordon Negro. You know what I mean? He's not no uh, 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 outside the out of town Barney Hunter or Louisiana Barney Hunter or New York Barney Hunter. That's a born and raised project Barney Hunter. 
He's one of the wars. What this call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. He's a good dude, you know. He's old now. He out the way, you know. He's doing the family thing and shit. But back then, when you heard his name, you knew you fucked up. You know what I mean? Because he's not going. He was no bitch in the least, and never been one. You know what I mean? I know. I could tell you plenty of stories about him, but that's another chapter. Anyway, just by him being in that cell alone, we knew that it was going to be a problem. That's why we struck first and got it out the way because we knew about time they get back, we're going to be gone. We're going to be all in the pen, and we'll catch each other when we see each other. But the whole plan was this 17 of them and six of us, we better act now before we be the ones on the losing end. You understand what I'm right, saying? Right, right, because it didn't, it didn't happen like so, that before. Right. So now, when they boarded up, I was getting my feelings hurt because homies had started leaving. And when homies started leaving, it wasn't nobody left but me, Todd, me, and Monster, and Lil' Dito. We was the only ones left. Right, so right. we was left behind. Oh, and oh, oh, and oh my bad, the homie Jay Poo from the Millers and the homie Payback from the Hood. We was the only ones left behind. Right. So when everybody left, the body hunters kept getting deeper by the minute. I'm talking about every other day, it's three or four of them coming in. Now it's like 18 of them because there's like nine in each cell. Then they got a third cell. And when they got a third cell, that's nine more motherfuckers. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So a motherfucker like, God damn. You know what I mean? So we all in there playing war games. You know, we in there playing mental warfare. So I'm hurt. Because I know what they doing, but I told the homie Todd, man, I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to go down here and get that Renzi. You know what I mean? So Todd, man, was like, all right, I'm going to go with you. So when I go down there, I knock on the boards. I'm like, hey, Renzi, check it out, homie. I said, all this shit, this shit boarded up, y'all take that shit down. I said, we ain't finna get into it, homie. I just want to talk. So Renzi started taking this shit down. I'm already knowing... Like I said, it wasn't for no buster reasons. Everybody could take it that way, but I knew it was strategy. Right, they in secret you know, to you, homie. Yeah. Right, they in, there, they in there doing what they doing and preparing, so the next time they come out there, say, trust me, somebody's going to get hurt. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I know this. I know this for a fact is, is coming. You know, they too quiet. They not rapping. They not beating on no beds. They not saying nothing. So nigga know it's coming. It's, it's a storm coming. Niggas just sitting up laughing, everybody that's on the outside looking in, they thinking it's funny, but they not knowing. I've been dealing with the body hunters all my life, so I know when they come up out there, it's going to be a tornado, homie. Plain and simple. So I did what I was supposed to do. I didn't do it on no buster shit. I did it on some, some man shit. You know, I went down there. He took the thing down, and I squatted down next to him. Let him know I was secure with talking to him because, like I said, he raised me. You know what I mean? I'm the little kid. That nigga used to get ice cream, too, when I was a kid. So that's why I felt comfortable talking to him. And, that that's the, and not mama, to cut daddy, you off, and that's one of the older homies right. from Bonnie Hunters. Right. Exactly. So when we talking, I expressed to him that we need to squash this beef because... You have 60 seconds remaining. And we all supposed to be homes. Let me hit you right back. All right. 89 on up. G stuff, not ye stuff. And we're going to pick up on the part three with the Bonnie Hunter Anthony's Park Blood, uh, Los Angeles County Jail Blood Module story, homie.